What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Quick Shots on your DJI Mavic Air. Now this was originally a feature only available on the Spark, and then it trickled its way over to the Mavic Pro, and now it's available on the new Mavic Air. For those of you who may not be too familiar with Quick Shots, they are essentially predefined cinematic actions where the drone does all the work for you. It tilts the gimbal, it flies itself, and it even will record for you. It really couldn't get any simpler. Before we start taking our quick shots, there are two things that you need to keep in mind. First of all, you need to actually take off first. If you're still on the ground and you try to select a quick shot, it's going to give you an error. And second of all, you need to have a strong GPS signal or at least a good GPS signal for these quick shots to be performed. Once you've taken off and the drone is sitting in front of you, it's finally time to access the quick shot. So first of all, within the DJI Go 4 application, tap on the intelligent flight modes icon on the left side of the screen and then choose quick shots. The subject that is going to be tracked during these quick shots will be marked by a small green circle. The first quick shot that we'll cover is Droney, which flies the Mavic backwards and upwards simultaneously while keeping that camera locked on the subject that you choose. Tapping on the Droney icon again will give you the option to change your distance up to 200 meters. This is the same distance as the Mavic Pro and 50 meters longer than the Spark, which will only let you choose up to 150 meters. To initiate the quick shot, all we need to do is tap on the screen and the countdown will begin. I really do love this quick shot. It's such a classic type of shot to do with your drone and the results are great. There are a few things to point out. One is the progress indicator, which is shown as a percentage underneath of the record button on the right side of the screen. Two, if you're gonna be choosing to fly 200 meters, be cautious of your battery life because this flies off pretty far. And three, once the quick shot has finished, the Mavic will return to you as close to its starting point as it can get. After Droney is circle, which flies a standard circle around your object. You can choose whether it rotates clockwise or counterclockwise, and from there it'll go about its path. You can also change how big the circle is by adjusting your distance from the subject before you begin the quick shot. I noticed this during my testing, and you can get this thing pretty wide, just be careful of the obstacles around you. Just like with Droney, progress can be monitored just underneath of the record button, and once the circle is finished, the drone will come around and sit back in front of you. Again, this is a super simple quick shot that you could easily perform yourself, but the results are pretty cool. I myself would probably rather use something a little bit more dynamic, like Helix, which is the next quick shot that we'll be taking a look at. Now with Helix, the Mavic Air will fly a spiraling circle upwards and backwards so that the height and distance will increase simultaneously. Tapping on the Helix icon a second time will let you change the distance up to 150 meters and choose between a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. This is probably my favorite quick shot again because of how dynamic the movement is. One thing I will note is that you need to make sure you have enough space because of how big the radius of the circle is, especially when you bump that up to 150 meters. I was so afraid to do this in the middle of the golf course that I was shooting on because of the trees in the way, but it does do a good job at increasing its altitude almost immediately to get above any obstacles like shorter trees that may be around you. Just like the quick shots before this one, you can monitor its progress underneath the other record button and it will make its way back to you once you've finished. After Helix, we have Rocket, which flies straight upwards with the camera pointed straight down. We can select a height of up to 120 meters, which is equivalent to the 400 foot altitude limit in the United States. With the drone beginning in front of your subject, it will slowly move upwards and over what it is tracking. Progress can be monitored on the right side, but one weird thing that I noticed is that if you select 120 meters, it won't return to you. It will come to a stop. Usually it should return to you like all the other quick shots, but because it reaches that maximum flight altitude, it just comes to a stop and gives you an error. Maybe this only happened to me the few times I tried, but it definitely is something to throw out there. Next up is Boomerang, which is one of the two new quick shots added to the Mavic Air. This one flies a circle around your subject, but with a twist. You can choose between a clockwise and counterclockwise rotation, and once it gets behind your subject, it will slow down, coming almost to a stop, and increase its altitude while slightly tilting the gimbal downwards to reveal what's in front of your subject or what he or she is looking at. It will lower its altitude, increase its speed, and come back in front of the subject once it's finished. Just like with Circle, you can move forward or backwards to adjust how the boomerang portrays your subject. You can get real creative with this if you want to try various distances when filming. Finally, we've got Asteroid, which is by far the coolest quick shot. It's not my favorite, but it really is awesome. So once you tap the screen to go, it flies backwards and upwards pretty slowly. Once it gets to its peak height, it will begin to spin around to take a 360 panoramic shot. It stitches those images together to make a really high quality picture. If we watch the exported clip back, it begins by moving away from your subject and then forms into a 360 panoramic picture. You can always reverse this in post so it starts out as the picture and then moves into the video. It really is is unique. 
So guys, that wraps up this tutorial for Quick Shots on the Mavic Air. But before I end this video, I quickly want to mention a few more things. So first of all, I really wish that on the Mavic Air or really any drone that could use Quick Shots, it would allow you to select when you want to start recording and when you want to stop recording, rather than the drone itself telling you when it's going to start recording, when you start that Quick Shot, and then it stops recording at the very end. It would really make editing a lot easier. Overall, I think these Quick Shots are not really customizable. They're kind of there for you to use, and you can change the distance and stuff like that. But again, I really wish it was just a little bit more customizable. Finally, I want to give you a quick tip regarding video resolution. So every single time that you go and select Quick Shots, it's going to default to 1080p, but if you go into the camera settings and select 4K, it will shoot these Quick Shots in 4K. It's something I learned towards the end of testing, so not all the Quick Shots in this video were shot in 4K, and it really is a pain in the ass, like every single time you go to actually select a Quick Shot, you've got to reselect 4K, but at least they didn't limit these Quick Shots to 1080p, and you do have the option to shoot in higher resolutions. But guys, be sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of these new quick shots like Asteroid and Boomerang on the Mavic Air. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.